tell me what I need to know, and I will be gone from here. Where did you send her? You think I'd betray her? She would hurt me in ways you can't imagine. The name of the ship. Your life hangs on the answer, Lieutenant. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Welcome back to Mass Effect 2. This is Hill here with Sendaria Shepard on the planet Ilium. And I'm here with Jacob Taylor and Professor Morden Solis, who was with us for the first time. He asked uh, to stretch his legs and leave the ship. And uh, we're going to go ahead and finish up, I hope, on Ilium here for the time being. And the first person we need to talk to is this Solarian because we found some data while we were hunting down Thane Krios. Listen, I know the data is vital to the Kurosa family. What is it? I'm in the middle of an important call. Yeah, you'd better change your tone, buddy. You'll want to see this. This might be worth putting your family on hold. Here's that data you were worried about. Is that the Kurosa Generational Archive? I am so sorry for being rude. My whole family has been worried. That data is irreplaceable. I didn't think I'd get it back from Nasana's corporate building. <laughs> why were there no backups? If this data is so important, why didn't you have backups? We did. A rival family introduced a computer virus and our techs were sloppy. The virus destroyed all our data. I just spent a fortune getting the data recovered and reconstructed when Nasana went crazy. We live in a world of infinite data redundancy. To lose something so important because of one crazy Asari? Hmm, I'm glad I could help. There's your data. I hope it helps your family. You have no idea, human. I, I don't know who you are or how you got it, but thank you. Here, for your trouble. Blessings be upon you. You've certainly blessed us. All right, 40 experience, two renegade, five paragon, boo, and 1,500 credits. All right, let's go. All right, let's go back over here to shipping. There might be an epilogue here. Let's see what she has to say. Excuse me, you know where I can find Serena? She's not here anymore. Oh, you're the one she was helping out. She took a job off-world. Didn't say where. She gave me something for you. Looks like a message. Um, that's it? She didn't say anything else? She just gave me that and left. Not even a goodbye. Uh, let's listen to it. Delete it. Come on now. Let's listen. Hey, Shepard. I was on my way to a new life when the new burst arrived. The bitch is dead. I assume that means your friend is alive and he finished his job. Tell him if I ever see him, I'll buy him a drink. Okay, well, that is the conclusion of our Thane recruitment. And let's continue on through. By the stars, your skin looks amazing. You're not using biotics to touch things up, are you? Actually, I just new Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. I don't know. Some of them seem dangerous. God, those women are That's always the talking point. about the same thing. All right, I did come over here and got some upgrades, but ran out of credits again. It's like I just can't keep keep credits. So we do have uh, SMG it damage. Might be fun for I was you. able for to me, get. Let me go ahead and look at My this. My clan's breeding strategy is at SMG stake. damage. I think there was some assault rifle damage. Uh, we've applied those, but I did not get these defensive uh, abilities. So. That's what I'm saving for. Don't Solarians think about okay. besides breeding? Don't even start with me. We need to try to recruit Samara. And there may be a problem. Let's see if we can talk to Officer Dara. Can I help you with something? Oh, we can. I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem? Or did she kill somebody already? I was worried. I was over here earlier and she didn't seem to respond but okay now we can talk to her all right so what if she did i have no idea just tell me where she is 
If you insist, but fair warning, watch yourself around Samara. Justicars have a nasty habit of shooting people. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. Let's ask about Justicars. Tell me about the Justicars. They're a monastic order. They've given up their families and possessions to follow their code. Most of them are on some lifelong mission, but they'll always stop to deal with any injustice they encounter, which can be a problem. In some ways, they're a lot like the Spectres, undertaking personal missions. Let's ask who governs them. Spectres are authorized by the Council. Who do Justicars represent? What? That's, like, I don't know a good human metaphor. They represent their code, our code. It's closer to a religious group than a legal branch. No law-abiding Asari would question a Justicar's orders. Nobody becomes a Justicar for personal gain. And they die before breaking their oaths. Let's ask about her worries about Samara. Is Samara really that dangerous? If you follow the laws, you've got nothing to fear. And a Justicar would die without hesitation to protect the innocent. But their code orders them to stop lawbreakers, with lethal force in most cases. And everyone skirts the law somehow on Ilium. If someone tried to bribe her, she'd be obliged to gun them down as a matter of honor. Gun I'm hoping to down. avoid that. Wow. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's go ahead and hail the camp. So I think this is the last person we have to recruit. I there were three more dossiers we got Thane, we got her I'm drawing a blank if there's someone else alright we're gonna go with the professor and with Jacob where do you think you're going? I'm taking my goods to Omega, Detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. The victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. What about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney Four. Find me in the station if you need me. Hmm, good Shepard sizing them up. Okay, let's go and talk to Pitney Four. Pitney? What do you want? I've already got mercs wanting to kill me like they did my partner. I don't need any more trouble. As if that weren't enough, some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. All the natives are scared of her. I've got to get off this world. Let's ask why everyone is so nervous. Has Samara actually done anything yet? The Asari say that Justicars are lethal in a fight. And if they so much as smell corruption, they start shooting. The thing is, corruption isn't that hard to find around here. Let's ask if he knows where she is. Tell me how to find the Justicar. She's in the alley where my business partner was murdered. A detective sealed the area, so you'll have to talk with her if you want to go there. Let's ask about his partner's murder. You don't seem too broken up about your partner's death. Dakni Kerr knew the risks when he took to spacing. Right now, my worry is me. It's unhealthy to be a Volus in the Nosastra spaceport right now. Especially a Volus named Pitney Four. Let's ask about the murder motive. Why would these mercs kill him? And why do you think they're coming after you, too? I have no idea. We're innocent merchants. 
But they killed him, so they must be after me, too. I have to work the angles and get out of here. Let's ask about the crime details. Why do you think it was mercenaries? Dakni Kerr was cutting through a back alley last night when someone killed him with a shotgun. I saw his body this morning. They'd used modded rounds. That means Eclipse Mercs. Okay, folks, let this be a lesson to you. Never, never go through a back alley alone. Don't these people get it? How many TV shows do you have to watch? How many movies do you have to watch with someone who is attacked in a back alley? Anyway, tell me about the Mercs. You must know something about these Eclipse. I occasionally do business with them, but only in well-lit places. Why is with he adjusting guns, his gun? And only after the creds clear. This is a scummy bunch, even by Merc standards. They sell red sand, all kinds of illegal item, and they are all cold-blooded killers. All right, looks like we're finished. I should go. Talk to Anaya. I think that's how she said her name. If she even said it at all. All right, and Anaya would be in the police station. I think. Wait, who's this? Hello? I wanted to be a Justicar when I was young. Every Asari does, I guess. Hmm, I wonder why she's here. Is it something we can trigger later? Fortunately, I don't remember. Let's see, is there any... Uh, we're full up on Metagel. Alright. Let's see what Detective Anaya has to say. Nice guns. Try not to use them in my district. What can I do for you? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. I've got more than enough trouble here already. Mm -mm. I don't need your permission. I need to find Samara and get back to my mission, with or without your help. Sounds important. Justicars usually work alone, but they are drawn to impossible causes. That's convenient. If you're getting her out of my district, I'll get you to her ASAP. She's at the crime scene. Why? You're letting her into a sealed crime scene? I'm a cop. I'll work with the Justicar all I can. Besides, she's been looking at crime scenes longer than our two lifespans combined. She knows how to handle herself. What aren't you telling me? You're awfully anxious to get Samara out of your district. My bosses want me to detain her. They're worried she'll cause some kind of cross-species incident. But her Justicar code won't let her be taken into custody. If I try it, she'll have to kill me. I have no interest in dying, so if you lure her away with some big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled to help you. Hmm. <laughs> Samara sounds unprincipled. Samara would kill a cop? That doesn't sound very just. She would die defending an honest cop, but she'd fight an army of dirty cops to the death. I admire her dedication, but her presence is still a big problem. I need her gone before I have to carry out my orders. <laughs> Don't follow that order. Your superiors are sending you to certain death for no good reason. You have a right to disobey. Shepard knows impossible odds. Believe me. Mm, this is serious. Our mission is more important than all of our lives. Anaya's superiors are just being foolish. I'm a cop and I know my duty. I've been ordered to detain her and I will. Unless I can get her to leave my district first. Mm, give me directions. How do I get to the crime scene? It's around the corner. Go outside, take a left. Look for the police line. I'll send word to let you in. Be careful. The local Eclipse Mercs have been all over those back alleys lately. Uh, I guess we have a, a fresh line of uh, dialogue here. Let's ask about the Justicars. What can you tell me about Justicars? They're a kind of... humans might call them warrior monks. They live by a complex code that compels them to punish the wicked and protect the pure. They've been a part of the Sari culture for millennia. I read adventure stories about Justicars when I was a child. <laughs> Fear of Samara. People seem nervous about Samara's presence. Asari admire Justicars, but we also know that they kill without mercy when they find corruption. 
And Justicars never leave a sorry space. Why is she here? I doubt it's to investigate the murder of some corrupt Volas. Hmm. Let's ask about her opinion of Samara. What do you think of Samara herself? She's been a Justicar longer than three of your lifespans. Whoever she was before she swore that oath, that person is dead. Hmm. Let's ask about the mercenaries. What do I need to know about these mercenaries? Eclipse mercs are professional killers. They sell red sand, trade illegal weapons tech, and smuggle criminals off-world. They control some back alleys around here. I haven't been able to find their nest yet, though. Let's ask about the crime scene. You mentioned a crime scene. A Volus merchant was murdered. It was a professional hit, so we're not dealing with junkies looking for a score. I'm thinking the local Eclipse mercenary band. Can't prove it, but if the Volus was dirty too, maybe it's just a deal gone bad. All right, we're done. Let's go. I have to go. Good luck. Let's find Samara before the detective has to. Sounds like a plan, Jacob. Sounds like a plan. All right, let's get out of here. You notice these um Cerberus colors here? Jacob's got the black and gold, and Shepard's got the black and gold. He saluted Jacob in the last episode. He's coming around, folks. He is coming around to the side of Cerberus. Does she want to talk now? I don't trust that Volus. There's something about him. Huh. Okay. Do we need to talk to anybody else before we check out the crime scene? Yeah, I don't trust him either. Look at with these armed guards. Hold on. Did we learn anything from talking to her? If you want to find the Justicar, get the detective to let you into the crime scene. Just don't make the Justicar angry. Now let me think. How do I get off-world before the mercs come after me like they did my partner? Uh, okay, we've talked I to should him. go. Oh, look. A Turian worker. Sir? Cops don't admit it, but the Eclipse sisters run this area. Okay. These two don't want to talk. There's an elevator. The elevator appears to need a pass card. Something's not right here. I'm missing something. Can we come through here? Anaya told us to let you through. Watch yourself. There's Merc activity back here. We're waiting on backup. All right. All right, let's read these shipping details. Area? Let's consider this extra stock surplus. Ship the rest to Thax at his normal destination. He'll never miss a few lost pieces. All right, we're uploading this. Oh, whoa. Oh, 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 wow. Okay. All right, it looks clear. Where's Mo Mo Morden? Oh, oh, there you are. Are you sure you're ready for this, sir? You know, you've been in the laboratory for quite some time. You might not be prepared for all-out action. All right, we've got some circuit boards down here. All right, 3,000 credits. Let's just do a save. Okay. Uh oh. Alpha Squad went after that just a car twenty minutes ago, and they've gone dark. All right, she's got barrier. Can I move over here without them seeing me? 
Okay, what? Jacob. Is this primed? All right. Full cryo blast, Professor. In nice. Singularity out. Now we're gonna have some fun. That one. Barriers up. Cover now. All right, we've still got someone else. Be careful. Yes, it does. Yes, it absolutely does. Look at this blood. Whose blood? It was. Oh, it just vanished. Okay. All right. Looks like we don't have anything else. All right. It is time for some barriers. Because I think we have a incredible poster shields coming up. Let's go. Those were my best troops. Tell me what I need to know, and I will be gone from here. Where did you send her? You think I'd betray her? She would hurt me in ways you can't imagine. The name of the ship. Your life hangs on the answer, Lieutenant. You can kill me, but one of us will take you down, Justicar. <laughs> What was the name of the ship she left on? Go to hell! Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. My name is Samara, a servant of the Justicar Code. My quarrel is with these Eclipse sisters, but I see three well-armed people before me. Are we friend or foe? Yeah. Unfortunately, the barrier didn't last long enough. I don't have it leveled up enough. Anyhow, um, we're friends because he's impressed with the grace, the beauty, and the power of the Justicar. I'm Commander Shepard, and I need your help with a critical mission, Samara. You honor me, but I am in the middle of an investigation. Yes, but... I'm taking on the Collectors. I need you to help me take down the Collectors. The Collectors are a worthy foe. I would relish testing myself against them. But I seek an incredibly dangerous fugitive. I cornered her here, but the Eclipse sisters smuggled her off-world. I must find the name of the ship she left on before the trail goes cold. I wish you were willing to go with the human, Justicar. I've been ordered to take you into custody if you won't leave. You risk a great deal by following your orders, Detective. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. My code obligates me to cooperate with you for one day. After that, I must return to my investigation. I won't be able to release you that soon. You won't be able to stop me. Hmm. What just happened? Uh, the human is lost here. Can one of you clarify? I was trying to convince her to leave with you, but just a car is in their code. The detective has been ordered to detain me. I can't force her to disobey an order. But you'll only obey for a day. After that, you'll kill her for doing her job? I am afraid so. Let's make a deal. I'll get the name of that ship. Do that, and I will join you. Then the code will be satisfied. Let's ask about the strict code. This just a car code seems quite strict. It may seem so to you, but this is my oath. The expedient path may be fast and simple. That does not make it the right path. Let's ask about her change of heart. A moment ago you refused to give up your investigation, but now you'll swear to follow me? If I stay, I will be compelled to kill many innocents to escape incarceration. Like me. I may be killed, and my quarry would be free to continue murdering. 
If I come with you and survive your mission, I can resume my investigation. To do that, I need the ship's name to track her to her next hiding place. It is a simple choice. Logical calculation. Slim odds, but possible. Better than impossible. Let's ask about the Justicars. Can you tell me more about Justicars? We are individuals who have forsworn family, children, and worldly possessions aside from some weapons and armor. We travel a sorry space righting wrongs as defined by the ancient code we have each memorized. Let's ask why she left a sorry space. Ilium may be dominated by a sorry, but it isn't in a sorry space. My quarry fled to this place. I am sworn to hunt her down, and I will follow anywhere she goes. It is rare for a Justicar to leave a sorry space, but I must follow my oath. If I suffer for it, I will accept that. Alright, I think we have but one question. Where should I start? Do you have any leads? The Volus merchant Pitney Four is tied to this. Eclipse marks are preparing to kill him. Get the truth out of him. He may know a way into the Eclipse base. Well, I've got to get back to my station. And I guess I've got to take you with me. Thank you, Shepard. No, thank you. All right, so yes, now there's more. We need to go and talk to Pitney Four. And I did not mean to rhyme. Hello again, Earth Clan. Did you speak to the detective? You lied. You said you didn't know anything about all this. You've got one chance to change that statement. What do you mean, Earth Clan? This is what I mean. Oh dear. Please put that away. I'll be cooperative, I swear. Tell me everything. I smuggled a chemical onto Ilium that boosts biotic powers in combat. It also is toxic. I may have, um, forgotten to mention that to the Eclipse. So they are perturbed and want to kill me. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. You brought this on yourself. It sounds like you're a swindler and your actions finally caught up with you. True and true. But I haven't survived as a merchant this long without being able to tell when there's a deal in the making. You want something. Um, I don't... Ooh, I need the ship name. But I don't want any Paragonic responses, so I guess just get me into their base. I need to break into the Eclipse base. I do have a pass card they issued me to bring my goods in. Well, I, I had to return that one, but I happened to make a copy. Of course you did. Oh, do you hear those knuckles cracking, people? Take it, but be careful. Each Eclipse sister commits a murder to earn her uniform. They are all dangerous. All right, so we need to attack the Eclipse hideout using his key card. Oh, we got five Renegade. Nice. Do any of these people want to talk now before Here we go? You can buy red sand from the Eclipse. Just don't cross them. Sir, I hope you're not using red sand. It's not good for you. And you here, spaceport official? I wanted to be a Justicar when I was young. Every Asari does, I guess. I guess. All right, people. We're gonna go through this elevator. And on the other side, we'll have to face the Eclipse. And we'll do that in our next episode. This is Hill. And I'm out. Thank you.